Hi everyone and welcome back and we are going to talk about the last topic uh, this weekend which is the, the life cycle hooks in swelled component okay like we have angular life cycle hook in the react we have a different life cycle methods for the functional component for the class based component similarly in angular uh, in swell case also there is a couple of methods i don't want to i don't i didn't like the, the react having a lot of methods life cycle methods which i can't even remember same happens with the angular there are like lot lots of uh, life cycle methods out there which i can uh, i can't even track but here the case is different here we have only couple of life cycle methods on mount on destroy before update after update that's it so on mount on mount life cycle method is uh, a life cycle method which gets figure while component is getting unmount getting getting mounted something which you want to do before component even rendered so what you can do is let's uh, play with this import we are getting this from swelled and here we can do on mount and there is another method is on destroy on destroy we have already seen while unsubscribing to the store and the role of on mount on mount also takes the callback and it can be a sync callback because most of the time what we do is we make an api call and here const response we do fetch to some url there is some url and then what do we have is let's say i already have let photos or some variable which is empty array and here i can have that So we have to use a sync of it. Once you got the photos, you will start playing with that. And here you can also do the cleanup of the resources here. It's somewhat uh, similar to use effect hook in the functional components. Okay, and then we have on destroy. On destroy lifecycle method is just to clean up the resources when your component is getting unmounted right it's same as component will unmount in react so how we write it simply is let's say you have a timer somewhere created in your component lifecycle method and we created a timer which is set interval and we might be doing something okay so here i'm just doing second equal to second plus one let's say and then on destroy you can clean up i mean you can just remove this timer and here we can set interval why this is complaining uh, set interval call the function let's do the return yeah so these are the two life cycle methods on mount on destroy we also have before update and after update so how those methods i mean how what is the execution flow is we have before update it's somewhat like this i will just put okay that was just a flicker something was in the cache not updating so here is the life cycle before update on mount and before update triggers before the on mount and then before the state change and before the and after update is like once the update has been done you can trigger the after update so this is the cycle before update and after update we mostly use uh, on mount and on destroy because that is doing whatever we wanted to do so this is just a uh, just couple of life cycle methods we have in the swell js